Hey everybody, I'm Elizabeth McSwan from Emac and Hedwig, and today's video is a new photography project announcement. So here we go. I'm super excited to announce that I'm going to be starting a new photography project, and it's something that I have been wanting to do for a while now. For this project, I am going to be photographing all 19 species of North American owls in three years. Out of the 19 species of North American owls, I have seen nine and I have photographed or have decent photographs I'd say of seven. Those seven species are snowy owl, great gray owl, barred owl, eastern screech, northern sawwet, and great horned. And then the two species that I've seen but just don't have really great photos of are long-eared owl and northern pygmy owl. Rounding out the North American owl species are barn owl, burrowing owl, western screech, flammulated, ferruginous pygmy, northern hawk owl, and elf owl. I think I got all of them. <laughs> That should add up to 19. So while I have photographed a few of the North American owls for the purposes of this project, I want to basically wipe the slate clean and start from scratch because I want to vlog about this experience as well. So I want to take you, my audience, with me from the very beginning as I photograph all 19 species. I want to create video content with vlogs, like talking head videos like this, as well as showing you guys images bringing you guys out into the field with me so that you can see kind of how I photograph. I would also like to create video content where I share the techniques that I use when I'm out photographing owls, as well as other kind of educational stuff. This is gonna be a really hard project, but I think it's gonna be really rewarding, and I'm really excited to share my progress as I go through it with all of you guys. My goals for this project are, number one is I want there to be some artistic merit to these photographs. And I know that's a very subjective thing and a little bit vague, but I want there to be some noticeable skill that was involved in taking this, these photographs. I want them to feel like something that could be put on a wall that is essentially art. Number two is I want there to be some cohesion to, the, to this collection of photographs but I also want there to be diversity. I want there to be diversity in composition, you know, some very kind of tight, more intimate portraits, as well as looser crops where the owl is smaller in the frame and it's about the environment of the owl. I also want there to be diversity in habitat. For some owls, that's gonna be really easy because different owls live in different habitats, but species like say the barred owl and great horned owl, they're more adaptive and they just, live in more environments. I want to represent a lot of habitats in North America through these images. I also want there to be diversity in seasons and in life stages of the owls from little kind of smaller owlets all the way up to full-grown adults. Number three is I want to complete this project in three years. That's not a really hard fast end game, but I don't want this to be something that I work on for like the next 10 years, which I could definitely do if if I didn't kind of give myself an end date. So I want it to take three years. The first year I want to focus on Eastern species, the species that I can get that are close to me. I live in New England. So definitely species that are here in New England, but also traveling up to Eastern Canada to get owls up there, all the way down to Florida. And I do have a trip planned in a few weeks to go down to Florida and I will be photographing, hopefully, fingers crossed, owls down there and so you guys will be hearing more about that trip when it happens. The second year I plan on chasing the owls that are found out west, and then the third year will just depend basically on how the first two years go and kind of what owls I feel like I need to focus on. Some rules I'm going to be following for this project. Number one is no baiting, never ever, nope.com. Number two is a limited use of playback. I wanna use playback for the purposes of seeing if there's an owl in the general vicinity of wherever I am and seeing if it will respond to playback. I don't want to use playback for the purposes of calling an owl in for a better photograph. And then, and I also don't plan on using it to elicit a more interesting response or facial expression from a sleeping or roosting owl during the day. It makes me so mad when photographers do that. Number three is I'm going to generally avoid 
being part of a sort of owl paparazzi situation. In other words, being part of a large group of photographers that are photographing one bird, which happens a lot with owls, especially. And these situations can be really stressful for the bird. They can also bring out really ugly behaviors in the photographers that are there. And just generally, in my experience, I don't produce my best work in those situations. So I would really much rather work with an owl one-on-one, -on -one, but that can be really hard when you're working on public land because inevitably somebody is gonna want to photograph the bird that you're photographing, especially when it comes to owls. Other information I want you to know, I plan on donating a certain percentage of what I earn with this project through means of YouTube ads once my channel gets monetized, also my Patreon page, and I, I have, I'm in the process of creating a merch store. Any avenue where I'm earning money from my OWL project, I want to donate a certain percentage of that to a, an environmental cause. I'm still trying to figure out exactly who I want to donate to. If you have a suggestion for a nonprofit that I could donate to, just leave it in the uh, comments below. So if you are interested in watching me tackle this really crazy challenge, as well as helping the environment and birds, please subscribe to my channel. Every subscriber helps me towards monetization. Also, if you like this video, give it the thumbs up, click the bell, leave a comment, just if, if it's only to say hi. Any interaction on this video can just help it become more visible to more people so that more people know what I'm up to. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Take care and happy owling. Bye.